At E3 2019, Microsoft announced their upcoming next generation console currently titled Project Scarlet. It is currently set to be the most powerful console ever produced, even set to outshine the previously released Xbox One X, which itself was the most powerful version of the Xbox One. While we had gotten a breakdown of the tech that would be running Scarlet, one of the things that was announced that had me the most excited was its promise to provide backwards compatibility for all the previous Xbox generations leading all the way back to the original Xbox. I thought this would be a good opportunity to explain how backwards compatibility works and look at how it's been implemented in the Xbox family leading up to Project Scarlet. Backwards compatibility in video game consoles is the practice of allowing the console owner to play games from the previous generation on their current hardware. This term can also cover the use of old peripherals on the new console, such as the GameCube controller working with the Wii, but for the sake of this video and simplicity, I will only be covering the ability to play old games. So how does backwards compatibility work? Well, there are many different ways companies can pull this off, but generally this is done by creating an emulator for the targeted console. An emulator is a piece of software that allows the new hardware to behave like the old one. It takes a lot of engineering and trial and error to even get it to work, and even if it is running properly, there can still be bugs. You can have 100 games that run completely fine using the emulator, but there might be a handful that cause problems. This can be because of the way it was coded to run on the old console, but that is only one of the thousands of possibilities. Luckily for us, Microsoft has been able to provide backwards compatibility on every single one of their console releases. The Xbox 360 was the second generation of Xbox consoles and the first to offer backwards compatibility. This was only possible for 360 owners if they owned an official Xbox 360 hard drive. Very clever, Microsoft. Doing so allowed you to play a select number of original Xbox games directly on your Xbox 360. This list of games was finalized in November 2007. Shortly after the list was finalized, Microsoft launched the Xbox Originals program, which allowed you to purchase these games on the Xbox Marketplace. This program was closed in June 2009, essentially ending Microsoft's efforts to expand its Xbox original catalog on the 360. According to Wikipedia, there are 461 backwards compatible games on the 360 out of the 1047 games released for the original console. The Xbox One is the third generation of Xbox consoles and offers compatibility with both the Xbox 360 and the original Xbox. Unlike the 360, no additional hardware is required to run the old games and until further notice, all of the compatible titles are available for purchase on the Xbox Marketplace. The Xbox One first supported the ability to play 360 games starting in November 2015 and worked by actually downloading an Xbox One compatible version of the game. Since the game was actually being downloaded rather than running from the original disc, only a number of games are available to play. This is due to licensing problems and behind the scenes politics, which is unfortunate, but thanks to Xbox's gamer-centric approach, they did take in gamers' suggestions and worked hard to bring the most requested games to the backwards compatibility program. Original Xbox backwards compatibility became available in October 2017 and works nearly identical to how the 360 games run. Just like with the 360 titles, only specific games are available to play. The game package is downloaded to the console and games are also available for purchase on the Xbox Marketplace. In June 2019, it was announced that Microsoft would stop in their efforts of bringing more titles to the backwards compatibility program. The backwards compatibility program ended with over 600 titles available to play. 575 of those being 360 titles, and 41 being Xbox original games. Hopefully with the next generation of Xbox coming in 2020, we will see full emulation of both 360 and original games. This would allow us to play all of the titles released for those consoles, but as for now, we'll just have to wait for more information at E3 2020. For more videos about Xbox games, news, and coverage, make sure to subscribe to Live on Xbox and follow us on Twitter at live underscore on underscore Xbox. Links will be in the description. This is Austin, signing off from Live on Xbox.